Hey there, John Gibson here, and I'm back with another week with another lesson training for those who are struggling with PCOS. And what I want to share with you today isn't necessarily specific to PCOS, but it is something I see on a regular basis. And I want to kind of share a story with you really quick. So last night we went to um, to some of my in-laws and we had a little birthday party for my mother-in-law. And um, she's an amazing woman and her birthday's coming up. So we celebrated yesterday with her so we could get all the family together and everything. And we have this tradition that is, um, it's fun. It was awkward in the beginning, but now it's become something that we all kind of look forward to. And we actually almost, we fight over doing this. And it's kind of funny because again, in the beginning, it was really awkward when we first started doing it several years ago. And what we do is we all get in a circle and my, my in-laws have a huge family. There's 10 kids. My, my mother-in-law had 10 kids. So we've got all of them. All of them but one are married right now. So they all have their um, their spouses there plus all of the kids. And so last night we had, I think about, I think it was about five of us, five of the kids that were there with their spouses and all the kids and everything. So there was, you know, we had a, a lot of people in the house, probably 30, 40, maybe 50 people in the house at the time. And all the adults, we all circle around and in a living room and just um, do something really cool kids are off playing they're having fun but what we do is we go around one by one and we say something nice about the person's who whose birthday is coming up and from again it was my mother-in-law this time so we were all going around saying something nice and that we respect about my mother-in-law and um it was it's funny because again we're always we're fighting over who gets to go first because you usually you get something in your mind you're like okay this is what i'm going to say and then by the time it gets to you someone's already said that thing you're like oh now i've got to come up with something new i mean it's easy to come up with things that are, that are new but it takes a little bit of effort. And so you've got to think about it. And then once it gets to you, it's like, oh, everyone's taken mine already. Okay, well, and then you share the next one. So it's kind of fun. But the thing that I love about it the most is watching the person and watching their reactions and seeing a stronger connection being built between that person. Um, I mean, you can just watch it in that moment when you start sharing something and right away, it's like, really? I didn't know you felt that way or you thought that way. And sometimes you're like, wow, I didn't realize I felt that way or thought that way. And it builds a stronger connection between the two people. So I think it's really cool. But can we do that same thing with ourselves? And this is something I see on a regular basis with the, the women that I coach is, you know, not everyone, but a lot of people that I coach, when they come to me, they don't like themselves. They look in the mirror and they see a monster. They see something gross. When they send me their, their uh, I have everyone take progress pictures, right? Because we want to see physical progress. And their first picture usually comes with some sort of degrading remark. So they send me the picture and in the, the, uh, the subject line, it may say something like, here's my pictures with like the vomit emoji or ugh, or they, they're, I'm sorry, they're disgusting. Or in the, the first line, or they'll you know, have like one line with the pictures they send in. And there'll be some sort of degrading remark about themselves. When, you know, why? I guess that, that's the big thing. question is why? Why do we do that to ourselves? And I know when they look in the mirror, they'll say these things. They, I'll say, what do you see when you see, look in the mirror? And they'll say, oh, I see a disgusting slob. Or I see a worthless person. Or um, someone who's not good enough. And they'll list all these negative things about themselves. And so what I want them to do is I want them to actually love themselves. And because think about this for a second. What happened, typically what I see happen is some people, people like beat themselves into submission. What we do is we look in the mirror and we see something about ourselves we don't like. And we go, oh, I hate my arms. I'm going to change those. And so we go to the gym and we start beating ourselves up in the gym or we start beating ourselves up with, with the way we eat because we're not good enough and we're trying to make ourselves better, Right. And, or we look at our abdominals or our stomach. Oh, I hate that. I hate my stomach, right? And then we go to the, the gym again, beating ourselves up and, and not taking care of ourselves, right? And so what I want people to do, all the women that I work with, what I want them to do is literally look in the mirror and love themselves, regardless of where they are, how big they are, how small they are, if they've got stretch marks, scars, um, all these different things. I want them to be able to look in the mirror and say, I love myself. And then when they go to the gym or when they start eating, they're doing those things to take care of themselves, not to beat themselves into submission. And so again, think about exercise. We beat ourselves up in the gym. And then later on, we, we go look in the mirror some more and we go, oh, I still don't like it. So we go back to the gym, beat ourselves up even more. And we keep going back and forth around between this, right? And then finally, when we if we do get to our goal, we get there and we go, oh, awesome. Now I look the way I want, but I still don't like myself. Think about that for a second. What would it be like if instead we started to actually love ourselves and start taking care of ourselves. And then when we got to our goal, 
We could look in the mirror and go, okay, cool. I met, met my goal. And I still love myself. Or I maybe even love myself more because it was a whole process. Not just because of the way I look, but because of how I took care of myself. Right? Again, with my mother-in-law doing that. And we again, we do it with everybody. Everyone's birthday, whatever, whoever's birthday it is, we all sit down and do it. And it's, it's kind of a, I know for me, it's an awkward thing sitting there as everyone saying nice things to you and stuff, but it does, it builds that connection with you and you start to have a strong connection. And there is a, a huge connection between uh, my, my in-laws side of the family and everything that, that, that they do. And I mean, they are, they are bound together and it's, it's an awesome experience, but it's because of those things that we do like that. So what I want to do is give you some, uh, at least I want to give you one thing that I recommend everyone does that, and what I, I do and, and everything to be able to start build that, that self-love. Okay. Um, so again, I want you to take care of yourself. So you reach your goal, not beat yourself into submission. To me, it's like this. Um, I always say this to people who have children. I'll say, okay, do you love your kids? And I, I've yet to have someone say, no, I hate my kids. Everyone's like, yes, I love my kids. And I go, cool. Do you want them to stay the way they are right now? Just like they are. And I never get anyone, no one ever comes back to me and says, oh yeah, yeah, no, I, I you know, my, my four-year-old son, I want him to continue to stay the way he is. Even when he's 20, I want him to act like my four-year-old son does. No, everyone wants him to progress and become better and improve, right? And that's, that's kind of, and I'm going to get some slack for this and I understand that, okay? Because people are really tied to these different movements, but I'm going to share this. To me, the body positivity movement and the healthy at every size movement, so those two, I think they have a good premise behind them. But I think a lot of people take the information in those those two movements and change it, alter it so it's not as good. And what they tend to say is this, is why should someone have to change? You know, a little while ago, I had someone who um, I posted a before and after picture of a client of mine. And right away, someone goes is in there going, why should she have to change? She looked beautiful in both. It was true. She did. And I, I came back going, yeah, she does look beautiful in both. But I don't understand your point. Why? Why are you upset about her losing weight? And the truth of the matter is this, is this woman that I, the picture I post, the woman has a medical condition, PCOS, which requires you to lose fat if you want to improve your condition. The plain and simple, it has nothing to do with her self-worth or that she became a better person that because of that, she just started taking care of herself and then she lost the weight. But we have it in our mind that if someone is trying to improve themselves, they must not like who they are. Okay. Does that make sense? And that's not what I want to see. I want people who, who look at themselves, love themselves, and take better care of themselves, which then in, in, uh, creates improvement. Improvement in their health, improvement in, in their ability to move, improvement in their, you know, their, their life. And a lot of times that results in weight loss, right? I'm not someone who rewards weight loss. I re reward taking better care of yourself, which again, typically results in the weight loss. So what do we do? Now, I came up with something uh, a few years ago. Now, because of an experience I had, what happened is I went to a conference and in this conference, we had these moments where we all had to get up and we had to walk around and find random strangers that we've never met before, stand by them. And the, the first time we did it, the, the presenter was like, hey, everyone stand up, walk around, find someone. I found this guy. He was about four inches taller than me, younger than I was. He was like 19. I was, you know, my mid thirties or so. And um, we get there and we're standing next to each other. And the presenter goes, okay, here's what we're going to do. You're going to turn and face each other. And we're like, okay. So we turn and face each other. He's like, now I want you to look in each other's eyes. And I was like, oh, great. This is going to be awkward. Here I am with a young kid uh, <laughs> staring into each other's eyes. This is going to be awesome, right? And all we were supposed to do was say, the greatness I see in you is, and then name something. Just say something, you know, and whatever comes to your mind. And so we started doing that. And we had this kind of cool experience with this, this guy and I. Um, I remember looking at him and I would just say, the greatness I see in you is, and I just, just pause and think for a minute. And then some things come to my mind. Oh, you know, I, and I can't remember everything I said to him, but I remember at one point I said something to him and I watched some tears start coming down his, his eyes. And um, I stopped and, and I said, hey, are you okay? And we talked a little bit afterwards and it turns out he's like, I have never heard anyone say anything positive to me in my life. And to me, that was, that was hard to hear. You know, because again, I think everyone's got amazing self-worth and that's my goal with it, with everything that I do with everyone is try to um, help them see that self-worth. And after I left that, you know, I, I had several experiences talking to several different people and them saying things to me that I was like, man, am I saying those things to myself? Because when I typically look in the mirror, I look in the mirror and right away I'd say, oh man, you're getting old. Oh, you're, you're, I mean, look, I've got all this awesome hair that <laughs> went away in high school. I had nice hair. Now I don't. Right. And so I can say things about that. 
Oh, and my goatee starts to grow out a little bit. I see gray hairs all over the place, and oh, I'm getting old, and I can I can tear myself from that. Or, um, you know, I may have just gotten done uh, not treating someone the way that I should have, one of my kids or my parent or my wife or something, and I go back and look in the mirror, and I can beat myself up because of that. But a lot of times, what we do is when we look in the mirror, we say all these negative things to ourselves. And so I want to kind of switch that. And so what I've started doing and having my clients do is what I call mirror moments. And that's where we, we have scheduled time or planned time where we say positive things to ourselves in the mirror. And you've probably heard these, all these you know, self-affirmations and all those things. And I don't necessarily agree with the, the affirmation idea where we just say random things, positive things necessarily. But I want to say truths about ourselves. You know, find one positive thing. And so what I'll do is I'll look in the mirror and I'll say, okay, the greatness I see in me is, and then I'll share a truth about myself. Again, not just saying I am the strongest man in the world. No, I'm not. I never will be. Okay. Or I am perfect at everything. No. Or everyone loves me. No, everyone will never love me. There will people, people who are watching this will hear me say, I'm not a big fan of the body positive positivity movement. And right away, they think I'm the worst person ever. Okay. No one's ever going, I'm never going to have the entire world loving me. Okay, not everyone around me. I'm gonna get criticism all the time, right? So I don't want to share share lies, but I'm gonna share truths. And so I've had my clients do this, where they just look in the mirror, and they just have to find one positive truth about themselves. Because and this feels really weird, and it sounds really weird, but we're doing it already, aren't we? When we look in the mirror, aren't we already sitting there and looking at ourselves and saying, "Oh, I'm getting old," or "Oh, my eyes look horrible," or "Oh." Uh, why am I so ugly? Or why am I this, that? We're already saying those things. So why don't we just say the positive truths? You know, we tend to tell ourselves, I'm not good enough. When the truth is, yeah, we're good enough, but there's things that we could do better, obviously, right? Okay. Um, I had a, a, someone doing this a little while ago. At a conf- I, I put on a, a kind of a conference several years ago and I invited, there's about 20 women that showed up for this conference and we were teaching them different things. And um, there was one point where we had them um, doing this idea, sharing these positive things about themselves. And this one woman, she stands up and we're like, what are the things that you believe are negative about yourself? And she goes, oh, that I'm not a good enough mom. We're like, we'll change that. And so she did. And you could see she was crying. Because, and by the time she was done saying, I'm a good enough mom, she goes, I am a good enough mom. Yeah, I'm not perfect, but I'm good enough. You know, I'm doing so many good things for my kids. Not perfect, right? Because that tends to be what we're looking at is the perfection. And especially in our day and age with the social media world, all we see is the positive. Or the, not to say the positive, but all we see is the, the perfection. People only share their, their good sides. People only share what, you know, their amazing trips. And so when you go through social media, it looks like everyone is constantly on trips and, and having these amazing experiences when they're only, typically only posting those amazing experiences or the positive things or the, oh, let, let me show my messy house. And they've got like this immaculate, amazing house, right? And you're looking at it going, you're looking around your house going, oh, my house is nowhere near like that. <laughs> we all have different struggles and things like that, but we're, but we're masking it on social media. And so it's hard for us to see and look at ourselves in the mirror and say, well, I'm not as good at so-and-so. And again, we're comparing our, our worst to their best, okay? So my recommendation to you is this. Take some time, whether it's scheduled time, whether it's planned, whatever you need to do, take some time to go look in the mirror and just say to yourself, okay, or just, just find one positive thing about yourself and then build on that, okay? Ask yourself what the greatest in me I see is or what is, something, what is one thing I find great about myself? And in the beginning, it's gonna be difficult. Just like years ago, I remember going around that circle with my family and you'd get to it and it's it's like, uh, okay, I have to share something really nice and, and special about this person. And you felt so awkward sharing it. It was difficult. And it was difficult, really, really difficult being that person that everyone was sharing nice things about you because I wanted to deflect it all and say, no, none of that's true. But I just remember sitting there going, really? You really feel that way? And I, I wanted to challenge every single one of them. But now after doing it for years, I know that it's true. I know these things that they're sharing are true. We're not just saying it to be nice. We're all saying it because we really believe it. And eventually that's what will happen with yourself. Eventually you'll be able to look in the mirror and say certain things to yourself and believe those things. Okay. So I hope you guys are having a great week or at least at the start of this week, you start to, to create this week and make it the most amazing week that you can have. Next week to me is a magical week with Christmas coming up. So 
I look forward to talking to you all later and have an amazing week. Hey there, I hope you like this video and I hope you got something from it, something you can go and apply today. And if you did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like this video. And more importantly, go ahead and share it with your friends so that they can get the same benefit that you have. Thanks for watching and I've got more to share with you in the coming weeks.